Hello and welcome to another episode of Storytime with Stuart. My name's Stuart. I've got a story to read for you guys today. It's called The Little Red Hen. And it's by Alan Garner and Norman Messenger. And it's called The Little Red Hen. Shall we begin? Let's begin. Once upon a time, and a good time it was, a cat, a rat, and a little red hen lived together in a house. The cat had a basket, the rat had a hole, and the little red hen had a strong wooden perch. One fine morning, the little red hen said, Who'll get up and light the fire? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. So she got up and she lit the fire. Then she said, Who'll get up and make the breakfast? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the rat. I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. So she made the breakfast. Then she said, Who'll get up and eat the breakfast? I will, said the cat. I will, said the rat. I'll do it myself, said the little red hen. And she ate up the breakfast. But what should she see then coming down the road but a big brown fox carrying a wide white sack? Here's a big brown fox, said the little red hen, with a wide white sack. And the cat jumped into his basket, and the rat ran into its hole, so the little red hen flew up to her strong wooden perch. In came the big brown fox. Good day to you, little red hen, he said. Waltz you down and scratch my back. Very well, said the little red hen, and she waltzed down to scratch, but he caught hold of her put her in his wide white sack, and away with him. Now it was a hot day, and soon he got tired, so he lay down under the shadow of a rock and went to sleep. And the little red hen took her scissors and a needle and thread from under her wing, and she cut a hole in the wide white sack, and out she got, and she put a great green stone in her place, and sewed up the hole, and away with her. After a bit, the big brown fox woke up, and put his wide white sack on his back, and started off again. Much good that rest has done me, said he. Why, she feels heavier now than before. No matter, the big brown fox got home at last. And he told his old grey mother, Just you get ready the family glass pot, ma, for I've the little red hen here in the wide white sack. So the big brown fox's old grey mother got out the family glass pot, filled it with water and put it on the fire to cook the little red hen. Now the family glass pot was so fat that it filled the fireplace right up and the big Brown fox had to go out and climb on the roof and tip the wide white sack down the dim dark chimney. And so he did. And the great green stone fell out of the wide white sack down the dim dark chimney and knocked the family glass pot into smithereens and scalded the old grey mother. She took off her wooden shoe and knocked her big brown son off the roof with it. And, said the little red hen to the cat and the rat, that's that. The end. That was The Little Red Hen by Alan Garner and Norman Messenger. If you like that Storytime with Stuart or you enjoy any of the other episodes of Storytime with Stuart, please like, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that we can get Storytime with Stuart out to kids uh, and adults that love good stories that are uh, like this one uh, read by me. 
So I will see you next time in Storytime with Stuart. Bye for now.